good evening, and Merry Christmas Eve to all my Droogs and Droogettes out there. I figured I'd just do this a little bit more different than the norm. Yeah, how y'all doing this evening? Tis the heavy duty BC back again, large and in charge and digging it. Uh, hope you enjoy the intro. It is a little bit more entertaining. I figured it'd be a little bit more. I mean, let's face it. I don't think I've worn the same hat twice. Uh, y'all can tell me that. Now, that being said, uh, I will have to put, um, things on hold for a split second while I do go and swap out the lighting, as one would say. Um, this is a, you know, normal kind of thing. So, Allow me uno momento to, uh, I'm actually going to have to leave on the, uh, I have to leave on the thing. Otherwise I won't be able to find my way over to the light. So give me one moment. So me droogs and droogettes, welcome to the Christmas Eve funtacular that is my world. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I do appreciate it. I am Big Country Expat, your uh, pre-Christmas host with the most, if one would. At least the most alcohol easily available. Cheap, shitty beer and vodka. Woo! Hoorah! Hoorah for the Marines, hoo for the infantry, and... I don't know what the Air Force says. Fucking... Oh my God. Probably. <laughs> Who the hell knows? Hmm. And that being said, I figured you guys might get a little kick out of the entire situation that we are dealing with. So, this being my, I don't know what level or what point we're at right now. Uh, I have another new mic stand, as you can see. Um, wifey gave this to me for Christy Mass. Winning! Um, it's one of those nice weighted ones because the tripod interferes with my ability to... Uh, Actually, I have to slide this this way a little bit so the mouse, I can maneuver the mouse a bit. But we're going to get into a few things here and we'll go over a few things. But for the most part, um, it's been a very nice Christmas Eve. We had a very enjoyable time. Dun Bunny behaved herself. Uh, Sapper had the gift of the year. Well, gifts of the year. What's really hilarious about it is he's a major geek. And in that geek level... He is all about the Star Wars. And in this case, the Star Wars stuff turned out to be thematic this year. And none of us, Wifey, Dumb Bunny, or anyone else consulted with each other. Now, in my case, I got him a really nice water bottle. And, oh my God, you'll have to forgive me. I know it's Christmas, but sweet Jesus, that's hot. And, ta-da! Wifey did highlights in my hair. Look at those gorgeous blonde locks. Yeah! How you like me now? Such is life with a professional hairdresser for a wife. She done did good. The only thing I need her to do is, I need this shit taken care of. I need this either friggin' blended in all across the board or dyed proper. I don't know. But she did the highlights, and the highlights came out fucking looking great. The shit is seriously silky. And for me... For an old infantryman, that shit's getting long. I ain't used to having hair that goddamn long. It's fucking unusual. But back to the original. Point being, um, old Sapper there got himself some really cool gifts. Now, for me, I found on Etsy a while back a um, holographic Darth Vader. Um, I don't know what you want to call it. Nightlight, whatever. It's on Etsy. It's kind of cool. I might be able to find it. I'm... I don't think I'm going to bother. I've got a couple of drinks in me, and I know you guys get bored if I start surfing around like a retard. Point being is, is that it is a cut piece of plexiglass, about 12 inches tall, and it's Darth Vader etched on it, and it's Darth Vader etched on it in kind of a rough way, and it has this little base, and the base is an LED base that shines blue light up and through the plexi, and with the etching, it glows. And what's really cool about it is that it, I mean, essentially, it looks like the holograph where Vader is saying, 
you know, start your invasion now, Admiral. And it looks like that. And him being uber friggin' Star Wars geek, I figured that was a total plus. So I got that for him. And then for his stocking stuffer, um, we were in uh, Bell's. I think you guys saw, possibly if you read the blog, uh, the bicycle that I got for Grandbaby for Red for Red GB. Uh, little Red's going to fucking love that goddamn thing. And I got it half off. It was like 60 bucks for the bike. It was like, holy shit. Like, now, interestingly enough, uh, Sapper pointed out that is actually a very large indicator of a bigger economic problem. The very fact that we haven't even hit the day. This was the 22nd of December. It is a $120 made for bells or bills or bials or whatever the fuck it is uh, made for them specifically by Huffy in the frozen logo label. Uh we're in there on the 22nd of December, and it was already 50% off. Sapper pointed out that that is a serious indicator, and I agree with him when he pointed out because it didn't even hit me. I just was, I'm thrilled as fuck that I'm getting a goddamn bike for the girl that was 50% off. I mean, Jesus Christ, $60 for a huffy 4 to 12-year-old Bicycle with training wheels with the frozen logos, every, the the Elsa bike. I mean, you guys, I mean, anyone out there with any sort of grandbaby or little ones will understand, you know, that's like, you know, shoot me up, poppy, shoot me up. You know? <laughs> Let me break out the hypodermic, man. Fucking heroin ain't so much of a fucking fix as it is when you get the Disney princess shit. So, I mean, you take and make of it what you will, but the very fact that they cut it to 50% off uh, two days before the actual day of Christmas itself. Now, I can see if you're trying to clear your shelves after the fact. That totally, that's, that's, that's well within fucking expectation. But two days before, I mean, shit, they had, they had some fucking Lego sets. They had some Matchbox things. They had like, like big ticket items, if you will. That were at the very front of the store when you walk in the door, and that's how it got my attention. Was it was right there, big fucking pile of boxes of big shit. This was not the itty bitty. No, this was like the holy shit. These are like you know the high end items, and they're already marked fifty percent off. I mean, I was half tempted if I wasn't fucking broke, uh, especially with the Legos. I mean, you know, Legos these days. Fuck, Legos are like. Turns out Legos resale value and theft value and whatever you want to call it. Legos are like fucking literally gold. Like, holy shit. Uh, uh, uh. Sad face. That's a sad big country. No more Finlandia. Finlandia. Oh. Oh. Sad face. Oh, fuck it. That's what you get when you drink all day on Christmas Eve. Woo! But yeah, um, there's some serious fucking financial issues going on that we're not even aware of. And I mean, that's the kind of shit that Sapper pointed out that made me go, yeah, he might be right. But Grandbaby's going to be thrilled. We're actually going to hold off on delivering the bicycle, though, because uh, Red GB, Red Golf Bravo's, birthday is about a month and a half from now and y'all donated so much or bought in on the raffle which by the way has completely kicked up uh, as i told y'all uh, we got over here yeah, uh, yeah. we got a couple of p mags there's another brick of now mind you it's only 27 rounds of the green tip Reason being that it's 27 rounds is because it's on stripper clips. And I am going to ship the six rounds of Tracer in the box, but it's going to go in there. And whoop, shit. Butterfingers. As you can see, six rounds of 
the real deal orange tree. Yeah, you got. Uh, let me see. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to see, but you dig it. I'm not gonna fucking play games with y'all. Y'all are getting the real deal. Um, that's two combat magazines. The intent being that you will receive 27 rounds on stripper clips, and I will probably put the other three rounds of. XM 856 Tracer on it, that would be, and I will mark them appropriately, that would be the first stripper clip loaded that the tracers are loaded last. It's an old infantry trick. Uh, it was taught to me, and it's been handed down throughout the generations, on and on and on, but essentially you put the very first rounds you load in your mag are tracers, so that when you start throwing BBs during the shit, that the last three rounds you have are tracer rationale for it well glad you asked it's so that when you see the tracer going pew star wars lightning bolt that's telling you hey asshole you're out of fucking ammo time to reload realistically if you see one round of tracer you should drop that mag. Don't even care about, worry about the other two. Just, I mean, drop that mag and pop another mag in and continue to rock. Now, I mean, that's just me. That's how I operate. That's how I learned. I learned from a bunch of old Vietnam vets, a lot of more force recon dudes, a lot more old SF dudes. They all did this. It's been handed down through generations of infantry grunts. I don't know, make of it what you will. But either way, it's a really good indicator when you're running dry on ammo because you don't want to run out of BBs in a firefight. Been there, done that. It fucking sucks. And the panic factor is right up there with Deadpool's, I should have worn the brown pants. So make it feel like what you will because going click in a firefight ain't no fucking fun. Mm. Now, with that, I am going to shrink myself down a little bit. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, God damn it. I did it again. Look at this shit. I am wholly incapable of doing this right. Try number two. One of these days, I'm going to get it right on the first time, and I'm going to jump around like a fucking Riri. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so here I am. Here I go. So... Uh, as you can see, I did post up here. Now, the good news is I did talk to Fearless Leader of Cold Fury. I talked to Mike today. Uh, Mike, as I said here, update to the update. He's doing very well. Now, grumpy as fuck, uh, kind of pissed off, kind of grinding his teeth over the whole fucking situation, to which I said, you got no one to blame except for pizza, beer, and fucking hamburgers, dude. You know, his greaseburger addiction and the fact that he's still at... I mean, shit, he's got me by like five years, plus or minus, you know, 50 and a handful. Uh, he's still living, and this is something I also suffer from. I still act as if I'm still fucking 21. Mike is still living like he's on the road as a rock and roller and eating the same way and living the same way and fast chicks, fast food, da 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 da. Yeah, well, it fucking caught up to him. And now he's a stumpy legged motherfucker. I'm hoping this will square him away and get him up to speed. Uh, I did go and make the effort to uh, attempt uh, to get him, you know, some boobage. Um, essentially, I was told, and I can't open it up because it'll dox the fuck out of me. I, had to, I sent one as Big Country, and I came back, and they, the, the strip joint was like... Ain't no person is big country, uh, get fucked, stalker, weird boy, whatever. <laughs> so I had to use my real IRL name and IRL fucking uh, gulag. But essentially, I got back. Let me see. I believe I saved it. And I'm not sure if we can see this or not. Uh, ain't that a bitch? No, it's not coming up. I can't get it. I'll have to add another frame. But anyway, point being... Um, they essentially said, no, we don't do hospitals. We could go to jail, which tells me two things. Uh, one, they get pretty rowdy because this particular stripogram ain't stripogram as much as a stripper for a party, sort of like the Duke uh, party where they had a couple of horror o show for an hour or something. Two, 
uh, the pictures of the chicks and what I've seen of it, yeah, I got a hunch there's a lot of bump and grind and McNasty going on with this here. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. Good news, bad news. Mike, I'm sorry you don't get your latest dose of fucking STDs from me. Uh, I tried, bro. You know, I tried. <laughs> Not for lack of trying. But, uh, yeah, uh, go figure. You know, fucking these days, though, Jesus, God in heaven. Now, that being said, uh, on the basic news, I go to Zero Hedge as my usual. Um, Biden seems confused. CNN openly questions pres president's cognitive health after yet again another slip up. I, uh, this didn't happen pre-election. Now, fucking wonderful. CNN pedo... Pedo, pedo N, as one would say, is finally getting around to this. So makes me wonder what the fuck's going on. The thing that really has me worried right now is primarily the entire, let me see, do they have it here? Not really. I have not seen shit on our news talking about fucking Russia dudes and dudettes or droogs and droogettes. The whole Russia thing actually really seriously has me a little unnerved because Russia ain't fucking around. And I think the Daily Fail had a write-up on it. Hmm. Let me see. Oh, yeah, apparently uh, Lieutenant Colonel Crazy Pants fucking Scheller finally fucking got discharged today uh whatever turns out he's wackier in a fucking pile of goddamn you know he's whack as fuck i mean his idea was great and yeah him calling it out and stepping up to the plate was fantastic but then when some of the shit that started slipping out about him yeah colonel crazy pants mm, you really didn't help yourself bro let me see here okay view from the ship oh yeah Cruise ship as Mexico allows refuses to allow them after 21 crew members positive for COVID. You know what? Okay, it's like concerned American Pete fucking put it best. It you know it's not the fucking vaccine. It's the goddamn vaccine that's causing all this shit. And the respect that if you're vaxxed, you're gonna get sick. And you people are fucking stupid. And it's going off the chart. You know, fucking. Uh, Vox Day, somebody I'm not a fan of because he's so intellectually superior to the rest of us fucking plebs as far as he's concerned. Mr. Gamma himself um, sits back and says, since when do you need four shots in one year for a virus to keep yourself immune or assist in the immunity? No, it's like, no, this is total bullshit. And it comes down to money. It comes down to $5 billion worth of fucking money going to the goddamn thing. And then we have Pope Marxist the <laughs> First. That's what I call him. I got Pope Marxist the First. Looking like he's going in to suck the baby Jesus' diok. God. That guy. You know, what really kills me about it is a lot of things. I did some research on that fucking prick. You know, he sold out and sold people down the road during the fucking Argentine fucking revolution back in the day. He's a piece of shit. Fuck that prick. Uh, let's see. Gander Newfoundland. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Gave sanctuary doubled in size overnight. Blah, 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 blah. September 11th. Yeah, I've been to Gander. I uh, took part of the ceremony, actually. That's where... Uh, the 5 deuce back in the day, around this time of year, actually, and now I think about it, uh, when the 5 deuce had a uh, airliner crash, burn, and blow the fuck up and take out, like, an entire fucking battalion of the 502nd from the 101st. And that was a massive tragedy. And we have, every year, there's a memorial at Gander because it was, I mean, we lost a lot of goddamn guys in the 101st. It was a massive fucking wipeout and as you can see it's in the middle of fucking nowhere right there i don't even know let me make sure you guys can see that yeah it's right there middle of fucking nowhere <sighs> god rest their souls uh creepy factor true story creepy factor and i'm gonna bring myself back to full speed full size um no bullshit 
the memorial field at Fort Campbell when I was there was next to the movie theater and it was lined up. And it was a big open fucking field and it was behind headquarters. So when you came into headquarters, uh, you drive down the main drag, you get through the gate, come up and there's a Huey at the front. And then you have the headquarters building and all the traditional shit with the statues and other stuff. And then the roads branched and they went around. And as the roads went around, they came out. And behind that, there was a cross street. I think it was Nevada was the name of it. And then you had a field. And the field was trees. And the field of trees was for the Gander wipeout. Now... Here's what's creepy about it. It was haunted, and it was no question fucking haunted. Not only that was it haunted, uh, there were apparitions, there were fucking shit scene, shit, you know, just in general scene on a regular basis. Uh, you know, the whole, the whole... F- mm. Uh, no, that ain't it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Let's try this one. There we go. Dead bitch from a bathtub. Witless Houston. Chick had some chops. Yeah, she had some chops. But so me droogs and droogettes, uh, I don't know what else to put to you. I mean, I'm going to cut this kind of short now, realizing it's actually Christmas Day, O-Dark Early, type one each. Um, oh, sweet Christ in heaven. What the fuck is this? Okay, this just went to shit. Go fuck yourself. Okay, no, fuck that noise. Jesus Christ. Let's try something classic here, all right? Let's go with the fucking classic shit here. throw that in the background uh seeing that we are dealing with the christmas season i want to thank you all very much um from the bottom of my black and charred crispy heart which used to be in there i don't know there ain't, there ain't fuck all left in there at this point except for bad humor bad jokes and a lot of bad booze but um the grandbabies are having a christmas this year and i can't do anything other than credit you guys for that because I literally I didn't have a pot to piss in I just got my first paycheck and it was a half a paycheck because that's the way the fucking you know how it is where you work for two weeks you only get like the first half whatever yada 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 um, if it wasn't for y'all motherfuckers I'd be fucked like Chuck and You have my undying gratitude and my undying thanks. And I cannot thank you enough. And grandbaby, maybe eventually, I might actually bring grandbaby number two on and actually bring her in here because, you know, y'all have seen grandbaby number one. Red is one thing. This new one, man... That little girl fucking makes diabetes fucking, oh my God. She's so sweet, it's crazy. She's like 
diabetes time 10 and I thought red was cute and outgoing I like everyone has said new grand baby is oh my god off the chart fucking crazy cool insane I mean happiest baby ever I mean it's obvious she is not seen real life because <laughs> she's not jaded but it's so cool to see that joyous happiness and wide open eyes open happy and thrilled about everything she loves everything she loves the dog licking her face she loves the cat biting her hand she loves her poppy she loves Gigi. she loves her mama even bald ass uncle grumpy fucking sapper who is about as baby fucking friendly as a roll of fucking razor wire with fucking stay the fuck off me loves cuddling up with her okay i mean that pretty much <laughs> all. so on that note i will wish you all a joyeux noel and a merry christmas to one and all my droogs and droogettes i much much love to all you weirdos degenerates tyrants wannabe tyrants fucking scum and villainous scum who participate here and with you all I give you my love my loyalty and my pledge that I will continue to fight the good fight and tell everyone to go get fucked and fuck Joe Brandon left right and center never mind let's go Brandon <laughs> uh, in fact, for fun, grins and giggles, I may do another video tomorrow. I may actually go and load up and light up the flamethrower just for fun. Because, hey, fuck it. It's Christmas. Let's burn some shit. Winning! Much love, guys. Stay weird. Stay safe. And Merry Christmas, guys. Big country expat. I'll talk to you later.